Hello, good afternoon everyone. First of all, thank you very much for uh, reserving some time uh, to be here to listen to my talk. My name is Dr. Sri Tharan Subramaniam. I'm a urologist and I've been practicing in Island Hospital for the last 16 years. Today, we are going to talk about something very exciting, something new, uh, something uh, for new treatment for benign prostatic hyperplasia for patients who have been suffering from bladder outlet obstruction. This treatment is called Resume. It uses water vapor to treat enlarged prostate gland. This technology has been in America since 2015, but only recently it has been launched here and we are uh, among the first hospitals in, in Penang to, uh, to be able to offer this to you all. All right, we will Okay, first of all, what is bladder outlet obstruction? Bladder outlet obstruction is a condition which men suffer when the prostate gland enlarges and it causes obstruction at the bladder neck region. So it's a common problem in men and generally those above 50 years of old uh, will have this problem. And the lower urinary tract symptoms or LUTs symptoms associated with bladder outlet obstruction are well known. and and are such as hesitancy, poor stream, intermittency, incomplete bladder emptying and nocturia. And most of the time when a patient suffers from these symptoms when they see a doctor, most of the time treatment is generally started with an alpha blocker group of drugs. The drugs commonly used to treat this condition or for enlarged prostate are such as Harnal, Urif, Zatral, Kadura or Hytrin. All these medications are what we call alpha blocker group of drugs and these medications act by blocking the alpha receptors which are present at the bladder neck uh, and in the prostatic urethra. But sometimes this group of drugs also cause some side effect because these alpha receptors are also present around blood vessels. And when blockage to these alpha receptors around blood vessels occur, patient can have symptoms such as dizziness and postural hypotension. Another group of drugs which are used to treat bladder outlet obstruction are the 5-ARI group of drugs such as Evodat and Prosca. These medications, they act by reducing the prostate size by about 20% after taking this medication for about 6 months to a year. And the side effects uh, associated with these drugs are retrograde ejaculation and some patients might even complain of erectile dysfunction. And this medical treatment for enlarged prostate are long-term treatment and often med patients need treatment lifelong. Generally, when we are treating patients with, uh, with uh, um, uh, symptoms due to enlarged prostate, surgical option is considered when the patient does not get better with medication or after a while there is progression of symptoms, the symptoms get worse despite taking medication. Some patients also develop unwanted side effects from this medication or there are some patients who do not wish to take this medication lifelong. So when these are considered um, uh, we can consider surgical option for this patient. And the surgical option which has been used widely before this are TURP or laser surgery. These are good surgeries and they are good at relieving symptoms and they are widely available. 
but again there can be complication which this uh, with this uh, op operative uh, treatment even though the complication are not much but they can still occur and complications such as bleeding incontinence retrograde ejaculation and erectile dysfunction can arise with this treatment and we must also understand that there is always a retreatment rate about 5% in 5 years after having TURP or transuretral resection of the prostate. And we must understand that surgical options which are available to treat enlarged prostate gland up to now, we need to use spinal or general anesthesia. All right. So now we know that uh, prostatic enlargement causes lower urinary tract symptoms, mainly in men over 50 years of age. And treatment is available and mostly as a first line, doctors will use medication, either the 5-alpha uh, reductase inhibitors or the alpha blocker group of drugs. And these drugs can relieve symptoms, but they can also cause some side effect. And when the medication is not working, we go on to surgical treatment. And surgical treatment are good at relieving symptoms but they also can cause some unwanted complication. So the question is, is there any better treatment? Is there any other minimally invasive option which is available to treat enlarged prostate gland causing bladder outlet symptoms? Is this treatment safe? And what are the outcome? Are they as good as surgical options which are available now? And what about the potential complication? Are they better? And what are the potential complications that can occur with this new treatment? This is where the new treatment called Resume comes in. This is the system which, which is called Resume and this is the, uh, the instrument that we insert into the urethra to treat the prostate. Basically, Resume is a treatment which uses water vapor. Basically, water is heated up to 100 degrees Celsius and it is converted to steam. When water is converted to steam, it, it keeps the energy within and when the steam condenses, this energy is released as heat. And we use this heat to basically kill off part of prostate gland so that the part which is treated slowly get resorbed by the body and the prostate gland becomes smaller. And this steam is delivered into the prostate gland using this device, which is a very thin device and this is inserted into our urethra and up to the prostate gland and at this end steam is released at designated areas in the prostate gland to treat the prostate gland. Using thermal energy to ablate prostate tissue is not new. We have been using uh, thermal energy to treat prostate previously. We have been using radio frequency ablation such as tuna treatment which was available to treat prostate gland. When we apply thermal energy to parts of prostate gland, this thermal energy kills off the cells in the prostate gland and later these dead cells will be reabsorbed by the body and there is uh, uh, and when this happens the prostate gland becomes smaller. The difference between using water vapor and uh, other technology to heat up uh, prostate gland is when we use water vapor such as in resume this water vapor diffuses evenly and we can treat a uniform area of prostate gland as opposed to applying thermal energy directly into prostate gland. And the, this result, when we use uh, water vapor to apply this thermal energy, results in a targeted and precise area where we can ablate the prostate tissue. So when water vapor at a at a temperature of 103 Celsius is injected into the prostate tissue. This water vapor diffuses evenly and treats a targeted area of prostate tissue. And when water vapor at 103 Celsius is injected inside, 
uh, and, and our body temperature is 37, so it balances out at 70 degrees Celsius. And at 70 degrees Celsius, cell death is immediate and irreversible. So that area of prostate which is treated with this water vapor, it dies off. And this area is an even and targeted area. So we know and we can target the precise area where we want to apply this treatment. And what about safety? A lot of patients ask me, doctor, you are going to inject water vapor at very high temperature into my prostate. How do you know this water vapor will stay inside the prostate gland and it won't go elsewhere and cause problem? Well, we know by experiment which was done and by previous trial that this water vapor is contained in the prostate gland. If we look at prostate, it is divided into certain zones. Then, and this water vapor, once we inject, is confined within these zonal areas and it is confined within the prostatic capsule and it doesn't go out of the prostate gland. So that area which is being heated up and being treated is all contained within the prostate gland and there is no danger of this water vapor escaping and causing damage elsewhere. So we know how resume works. It is a minimally invasive procedure. We, there is no need to do surgery for this procedure and we know that it's very safe. It can be done as daycare procedure under sedation and, uh, and, uh, and, and it's, uh, it's, it's good at relieving symptoms of this prostate uh, enlargement. So resume treatment is indicated for men over 50 years of age who has got a prostate volume of 30 to 80 grams and this enlarged prostate is causing bladder outlet obstruction and lower urinary tract symptoms and it is also can be used for for patients who have got a median lobe or central zone hypertrophy in prostate enlargement the only contraindication is are those who have got penile processes in or those patients who have got an active urinary tract at that moment. After treating the active urinary tract and where there is no infection, resume can be used safely. Now let us look at a study which has been done to show the effectiveness of uh, resume and also the common uh, side effects or common uh, complaints of patients after getting resumed. So this uh, resumes a uh, pivotal study which has been done in US involving 197 subjects. And uh, we have, they have done in uh, males who are more than 50 years old and who have got a prostate gland between 30 to 80 grams with bothersome symptoms due to lower urinary tract. So if you look at the IPSS score, basically IPSS score is measuring how bothersome the symptoms are from an enlarged prostate gland causing bladder outlet obstruction. And if you look at baseline, the average symptom score is about 22 and after treatment, the bothersome symptoms reduces and we can see a reduction in the IPSS score, almost half and this results is sustained over 48 months. So we know treatment we resume reduces the bothersome symptoms and the results are sustained over a four years period. How about the uh, impact, the negative impact of the symptoms on our quality of life? And again, we can see on baseline, the symptom score after treatment reduced and the reduction is maintained up to four years. Now, uh, objective measurement of Qmax or the maximum flow rate of urine before treatment and after treatment. We can see here before treatment, the Qmax uh, is about 9.9 .9, and after treatment, three months onwards, the Qmax has increased to 16.7 and this result is sustained. The Qmax uh, results, the urine flow results are sustained up to 48 months or four years. And how about erectile function? A lot of patients when who are seeking uh, treatment for uh, lower urinary tract symptoms are concerned about their erectile function, all right? Uh, some of them uh, do not like the effect of uh, medication because some of the medication can cause erectile dysfunction. 
and surgery TURP can cause significant uh, retrograde ejaculation and it also can give rise to erectile dysfunction. But resume water vapor based treatment, we can see the, sim the score for erectile function is maintained uh, at baseline and up to four years, meaning there is no significant or there is no new erectile uh, dysfunction which is reported after the treatment, all right? This is very important in patients who wish to preserve their erectile function after treatment. And how about ejaculatory dysfunction? And again, we can see that after resumed treatment, there is no new ejaculatory dysfunction symptoms and uh, it is maintained up to 48 months, up to four years. A lot of patients who are taking alpha blockers do complain of uh, retrograde ejaculation or dry ejaculation. And after TURP, retrograde ejaculation is a very common problem affecting up to 70% of patients. So for patients who do not wish to have any problems any uh, with ejaculation and who do not who wants to maintain their erectile function, resume seems to be a good choice to have. And if you look at adverse event uh, after this treatment, adverse event such as dysuria, hematuria, hematospermia, urinary frequency and urinary retention can happen but it happens in a small percentage of patients and almost all of these symptoms are resolved within three weeks all right uh, all these symptoms are due to local uh, irritation and it all depends on a few parameters such as uh, how much residual volume the patient is leaving behind how big is the prostate gland and how many treatment does the patient need uh, when uh, he's having the resumed treatment, all right? Uh, but all of these local symptoms almost all resolve by about three weeks and there is no major side effect which has, which have been encountered. Now lo look at the durability of this treatment. Well, we know now this uh, treatment is minimally invasive, it's safe and it gives good results. But how about the durability? Does it last long? We have seen the previous slides uh, uh, looking at the IPSS, looking at the QMAX, looking at the erectile function and ejaculatory dysfunction and we see all the results are maintained up to four years. And how about retreatment rate? So the retreatment rate at four years is about 4.4% and it is consistent and comparable with retreatment rate after TURP. And uh, recently, the results for five years follow-up has been, uh, uh, has been uh, announced and there is sustained improvement and outcome of lower urinary tract symptoms and quality of life consistent with 40 years results at five years. And it is proven durability of 4.4% surgical retreatment and there are no de novo erectile dysfunction reported and the sexual function is preserved. So I think Resume is a very good treatment, especially for those who, uh, who pay a lot of importance to ejaculatory dysfunction and erectile dysfunction. And I want to show a small clip of how this Resume uh, procedure is done, animated. So we can see there is a prostate with uh, enlarged prostate and causing compression at the periurethral area. And a very thin scope is inserted, even thinner than our normal cystoscope. And once we reach the prostate, the prostate gland is measured so that we can determine how many treatments it, uh, we, we would need. And basically, we start the treatment one centimeter from the bladder neck and a small needle is injected into the prostate and water vapor is applied. And water vapor is only applied for about nine seconds. And this water vapor diffuses evenly into the prostate gland and kills a targeted area of the prostate tissue. And this prostate tissue, which undergo immediate necrosis, will be slowly absorbed by our body. So that periurethral tissue, uh, periurethral prostate tissue uh, diminishes in size and uh, patient will have good uh, outcome uh, after that. And this absorption of uh, uh, 
uh, dead prostate tissue occurs up to three months and most of the patient will have very good symptoms relief after three months but the symptom relief can be ongoing up to six months. So we can see now at the, at the cystoscope image, uh, once we determine where we're going to treat, that is the lateral lobe of the prostate and then a needle comes in and water vapor is applied precisely for 8 seconds. And after one area of treatment, we just move distally for about one centimeter and then the second treatment is done in the lateral lobes. So <clears throat> how many treatment a patient needs essentially depends on the size of the prostate and the anatomy of the prostate. And normally treatment is started at the lateral lobe and if there is any median lobe, we do treat that too. And if there is any central zone hypertrophy, we do treat that too. And and uh, this is another um, uh, video showing a cystoscopic view of a huge median lobe. As we know, median lobe enlargement uh, does not uh, uh, resolve very well with treatment with medication. Most of the time, patients who have got median lobe enlargement will need surgery to improve their symptoms. And resume can be used for those who has got a median lobe. So this is a median lobe and we can see, this is, we can uh, expect this big ball of tissue to cause obstruction to the urine flow. And this is the view of the median lobe which has, which have resolved after resume treatment six months later. So resume is effective uh, for, for medium load enlargement too. And this is another uh, uh, image here, uh, MRI image showing these dark areas are the areas which has been treated with resume. This is at one week post procedure. And the same patient when we do an MRI three months later, we can see that area which has been treated with resume uh, have been uh, absorbed by the macrophages inflammatory process in our body and it has become much smaller and this has reduced the <clears throat> pressure on our periureteral tissue. So again, uh, I would uh, uh, like you all to uh, have this take home uh, message that uh, significant sustained improvement of lower urinary tract symptoms and quality of life for patients suffering from BPH after treatment with resume. And these treatment results stay durable for up to four years and retreatment rate is only about 4.4% at five years. And sexual function is preserved and there is no new erectile dysfunction reported after treatment with resume. And resume offers effective treatment for median lobe and central zone, zone hypertrophy which does not respond very well to medical treatment. And at uh, uh, five years now, we know there is no serious adverse event was reported. And most of the uh, side effect, most of the complaint after the resume procedure are minor. And if most, if not all of these symptoms such as dysuria, hematuria, frequency, uh, resolve uh, by about three weeks. Thank you very much. I hope um, I, I have enlightened you all a bit on this new treatment which is available using water vapor to treat uh, benign uh, prosthetic hyperplasia, hypertrophy and I would be happy to answer the question and before that uh, the cost of uh, treatment is about 20 to 23,000 total cost for each patient. What is this? Okay, uh, here in Malaysia, most of uh, most of us urologists, most of us treat uh, 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 prostate, uh, stone problems, and everything. And some of us have got subspecialty in certain areas. Uh, my subspecialty training is actually in 
uh, in uh, renal transplant and uh, minimally invasive procedures, all right, laparoscopic surgery and so on. But most of us are very comfortable in treating uh, prostate, stone problems as such. Okay, uh, as far as the uh, as far as the treatment resume is concerned, there is no food to be avoided. But generally, immediately after the surgery, because of the local irritation that can happen, patient can complain of frequency, dysuria, and urgency. So probably during this period where these minor symptoms are resolving for about one to two weeks, it is advisable not to take uh, beverage which can irritate your bladder, such as coffee caffeine containing drinks such as coca-cola or pepsi cola or any any energy drinks all right uh, it is probably prudent to avoid too spicy food and too uh, sourish food also during this period while <coughs> a patient might have some local irritation from the procedure no uh, the uh, the total cost of 20 to 23000 is uh, for the total cost of the treatment uh, during the treatment, when we use resume to treat prostate hyperplasia, like I said, how many sites we do the injection in, it depends on one sitting, it depends on the size of the prostate. So it does not matter whether we treat, uh, we inject uh, water vapor into four areas or we inject water vapor into eight areas, it does not matter, the treatment cost is the same. How we decide whether a patient needs only four injection site or eight injection site, it depends on the size of the prostate and the anatomy of the prostate during surgery. But the cost is the same. There's a question here, how to prevent uh, uh, prostate enlargement. You see, uh, prosthetic enlargement occurs uh, in all men as we grow older, all right? Prostate uh, tissue enlarges from the age of 30 and 35 onwards and, and it is determined by genetics, it is determined by food we take uh, and our lifestyle, alright. So as we grow older, the prostate gland will enlarge and in some, the rate of enlargement will be higher than the others. What we can do is probably we can cut down on uh, meat products and, and stop smoking. That will help to uh, uh, safeguard our prostate health. Uh, as a question here, early detection can save life or not. I'm, I'm not sure. Probably the, the, the question uh, the, the person is asking is alluding towards prostate cancer. That is a separate issue altogether. What I'm talking about is bladder outlet obstruction, meaning patients who have got difficulty passing urine due to benign enlargement of prostate gland, all right? So 60 to 70 percent of men above age of 50 will have some evidence of obstruction to the urine flow and some of them this urine flow when it decreases really bothers them and affects their quality of life and they would like to have some treatment for this. So treatment which are available are medical treatment or surgical. Resume is a new minimally invasive treatment to address this problem without surgery. So, uh, if the per person is asking, does early detection of prostate cancer save lives? Yes, definitely it does. When a patient comes to me with difficulty passing urine, first thing that we do is rule out this patient has got prostate cancer. Once we have ruled out this patient does not have prostate cancer, what he has is benign prostatic enlargement causing bladder outlet obstruction, then we treat them. And one of the treatment modalities which is new and available now is this resume. Uh, okay, uh, so this resume treatment, like I said, we it's a minimally invasive treatment and we use water vapor. Uh, initially, after we inject this water vapor, there is some swelling of the prostate gland and that is why uh, patients get some worsening of the symptoms initially, such as uh, decrease in uh, the flow, uh, frequency, urgency and so on. 
So normally I would advise my patient to continue taking their medication for at least one or two weeks after the procedure. And then we reassess the patient and if the patient is feeling good, then we can stop the medication. And uh, most of the patients are feeling much better after three weeks of treatment and this improvement goes on up to three months. Uh, there's another question here. What are the early signs that I have prostate problem? Uh, early signs are, okay, like I said, prostate problem normally affects men more than 50 years of age. Uh, early signs are uh, if you have uh, enlargement of the prostate gland, which causes uh, bladder outlet obstruction. Early symptoms are decrease in the strength of flow. You might have hesitancy, that is you have to wait for a while before you can initiate urination and you might notice your urine stream is a bit slow and the flow is not uh, smooth, there is intermittency and you feel that towards the end of the, uh, your micturation there is still some urine left behind and there can be some dribbling towards the end. And these are the early signs that you might have prostate problem. There's another question, will I become important if I'm treated for prostate problem? Um, you see, um, some of the medication we use to treat prostate uh, problems such as uh, can cause erectile dysfunction, can cause retrograde ejaculation. And uh, if you have surgery, TURP, for prostate uh, problem, uh, you might, most of the patient uh, will have retrograde ejaculation and some of the patient, up to 7 to 8 percent of patient can report uh, erectile dysfunction after the treatment. Yes, you can become important, but uh, you have to discuss with your doctors about the medication, about the surgery you're going to use and the outcome. But with this resume treatment, it has been found that no patient who have undergone resume report erectile dysfunction or erectile dis or, or retrograde ejaculation. They might have some decrease in ejaculate, uh, but there is no de novo erectile dysfunction reported after treatment with resume. Uh, would this resume treatment limit or affect my daily life? Again, like I said, resume is a minimally invasive treatment. There is no, we are not cutting anything. We are just injecting water vapor into your prostate gland. Uh, it can be done as a, as a day care procedure or at the most patient have to stay in only for a day. Uh, uh, but immediately after the treatment, they can have, uh, they can still have symptoms uh, 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 of lower urinary tract and most of the time these symptoms will resolve after uh, one, two, three weeks. So during this time probably it's prudent for them to, to limit their activities and to limit uh, and refrain from taking certain beverages or food. Okay, there's another question. Is it safe or advisable for my 80 years old father with BPH? To undergo resume therapy. Uh, my general advice is it is very safe for someone who is 80 years old to undergo resume therapy. Like I said, it can be done under sedation if it need to and it can be done as a, outpatient uh, as a daycare procedure. And the treatment itself does not take long so it minimizes the time that uh, the patient is undergoing the procedure. The treatment per se will take about 10 to 15 minutes for each patient. So it is very safe for someone who is 80 years old to undergo resume therapy. Uh, there's a question here, currently someone I'm taking soa palmetto, will this help prevent BPH? Uh, as I, uh, I do not, I do not think taking soap palmito will prevent you from getting BPH. BPH is an ongoing process and the commonest reason why you develop BPH is because of aging. Uh, soap palmito has been shown to reduce some of, the sim some of the symptoms associated with bladder outlet obstruction. So I don't think so taking soap palmito will prevent you from getting BPH.
uh, will resume, restore my sex drive uh, as if so that I no longer need to take Viagra, Cialis as booster. I think if you already have got erectile dysfunction and you need to take uh, uh, drugs such as Viagra or Cialis to achieve good uh, erection, I don't think so resume is going to restore your sex drive. I think resume will improve your lower urinary tract symptoms meaning it will improve the way you are passing urine uh, and it will relieve the obstruction but it is not going to improve your erectile dysfunction resume does not cause new erectile dysfunction but if you already have got erectile dysfunction probably even after resume even though you are passing urine better you will still need to take pd5 inhibitors such as cialis or viagra all right, uh, I think that's all the time we have today. Thank you very much for uh, uh, coming online and, uh, and uh, going through this uh, uh, new treatment, new exciting treatment which is available in Malaysia now. Resume a new water vapor treatment for benign prostatic hyperplasia. Thank you very much.